video, I'm going to walk through how to link someone to a specific section of any page on your website. Now, this way is going to work for 80% of cases. There are going to be a few cases that it does not work for, which I will show you and why, but I'm going to show you how to make this work. So let's say you want to link someone to this section of this page. So I'm in the middle of the page here. Uh, this is my demo website. So it's just a bunch of random things, but I'm going to click edit and you'll see I have this section here. Now I want to link someone to this section so they can find the member benefits. If they land on the home page, they could come to this membership page and find the member benefits. Well, what I'm going to do is at the very top here, I'm not getting a full bar, but I'm just going to click this plus sign here. You can move it in a moment. Once you get that, just type in the word code and then pull up a code block. Okay. So what we're going to add here is this, it's going to say P space ID equals, and then we're going to write something here and I'm going to close this. And as soon as I add in that little bracket, it adds this little close. So just make sure that shows up. So let me zoom in here. So you see what we're looking at. There we go. All right. So this is the main code that you're going to use for any anchor link you want to set up. Now, this is where it comes down to your unique website or experience or whatever that is here. This is membership benefits. So I'm just going to write benefits. I think that's the easiest thing. Keep it simple. Don't make it complex. And this is it. You don't have to do anything else. I'm actually just going to remove this space here and just have it like this. And then I'm just going to copy that. So I have it secure, throw it on a word doc or something. Just keep it in the background because this is the same style you're going to use for other sections. If you want to do something like this. All right. So zoom out. You shouldn't see anything show up here. So we're good to go. The one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this code block to the top. So it goes across the whole page and the whole section. This is really important for mobile because the way it was set up a moment ago, it wouldn't have been the best. So now that is done. We've set up the anchor post that the link will go to. Now let's click done and click save. And now I'm going to go to the home page. The last thing I want to know before I leave this page is what the URL is. Currently the URL is call dash it. So here I'm going to do a test. Here's the URL, right? Call dash it. I'm going to add the hashtag sign and then I'm going to add the unique identifier that we used. We use the word benefits. So I'm going to type that in. As you can see here, it brought me directly to this section. Now there's a few other things we need to work on, but for the most part, it brought me directly to the section, which is awesome. All right. So here I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to add the link right here. So I'm going to double click into this page. And then I'm going to change learn more by clicking into the editor. And right now it's linked to projects. But what I want to do is I want to do forward slash and then call it, which you could see the link here. And then I'm going to do hashtag benefits. And so that will take someone exactly where they need to go. I'm going to put member benefits here so it's relevant and then click out of that and then hit save. So as you can see here, once someone clicks on this, it'll take them directly to that section on that page, which is really nice. Now, as you may have noticed, it looked like it was blocking off some of the text. So there's a few workarounds that you can do here to make this work. The first thing is this. Right now I have this sticky navigation. So if it's not sticky, it won't show up in the way. So if I go into edit and then I go to the top and then I hit edit site header and I remove this fixed position and I hit save and we go back to the home page and I click member benefits. You'll see here it takes us directly to the section perfectly, but let's say you want to keep that feature. So let me go into the editor. What I'll do is I'll adjust this back to fixed position and keep it at basic. And then I'm going to go back into the page here. And the one thing I'll do is I'm going to add, you'll see the code block here. I'm going to hit a plus sign and then add a spacer. So what this is going to do is it's going to add just a bit of space between the actual code. That's the anchor and the section of text. And you could just play with this until you get the right look and feel sizing all of that. So let me go back to the home page and then I'm going to click on that button again and you'll see how it shows up here. Boom. Just like that. It's clean, simple, really nice. Now, one other thing we need to keep in mind. I don't know why this is not native in Squarespace, but let's just say we want to, I'm going to add the link right here. So in case this was something I wanted to add, I could do that, add this hyperlink, and then I'm going to do this. So I just press forward slash and it gave me all these options, which it's a little bit inundating because I can't see it, but I'm going to type in call it, click on this, and then I'm going to add the hashtag benefits. So here you could see that this is the link. So this is the core link to get us there forward slash the page URL, the full page URL. And then the hashtag is to that specific point from there. I'll hit apply and then I'll hit save as you're 
you're going to see there's one really weird thing here. So I just opened the site in incognito mode because I'm not logged in. So it's not going to mess with the user experience and I could test this. So let's test it out. So I'm going to hit more. Well, what you can see is that was a quick jump. There was no scroll. You almost feel like you landed on a separate page. So there's this little line of code that will make this all better. So here we go. If we go to design and then we go to custom CSS, you just need to add this in. This is so tiny, but so helpful. So you just need to add in this little line of code, which is HTML basically means target all the code, scroll behavior, smooth. So once you hit save and then you do this again. So once you hit save, I'm gonna go back here to incognito mode, refresh it. Actually, I'm gonna refresh it like this so without that. And then I'm gonna hit more. You'll see that it just scrolls down really nice. So now you've adjusted, formatted, and created these anchor links. You could do this anywhere in your site and just go through those three steps to bring them to life. All right, so there's one type of section where this is not gonna work, which is gonna be galleries or specific types of content sections. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I click into this page here, you'll see here this section, if you hit add section, is not just a normal section, it is either a list which has this like auto feature or it's a gallery. When that happens, you can't add a code block to the page. So you may be sitting here like, I wanna change this, but you can't necessarily add a code block here. So in this video, I'm not walking through how to create an anchor link for this specific section. I may do it in a future video, but I just wanna highlight it so you don't feel like you're going crazy. If it's a section like this that has this edit content, you're not gonna be able to add a code block to the top of the section here. So it's a bit unfortunate, but it is something to keep in mind as you're building these anchor links. So for now, that is all in this video. But again, in the future, I may create a video on how to do this for sections like this but this should handle 80% of all the links that you want to create as anchor links. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.